at Beyond Borders. Right. So, for example, in this, you see that three times a is thirty-six. Right. So, how what what we should do? How can we get rid of this three? Now, I know this three is a multiply, and what is the opposite action of multiplying? Dividing. So, what I will do is I will do three times a. Divided by three equals thirty-six divided by three as well. Remember, whatever action you take on one side, you also take on the other side. That's the main idea, right? So, it can be any action, right? Any action. But in this case, I know this action will help me get to get rid of this three with the a, right? So this three will cancel this three. If you remember simplification, this will make it a twelve. So my value of a. Here a will be remaining. A equals twelve. Okay, makes sense. Let's try one more together, right? So as you see here, five times z is forty-five. Now, out of our memory, we know yes, nine times five is forty-five. Yes, yeah? so we can just replace it. But the way of solving an equation it does not allow that. So what you need to do is like here, I need to get rid of this five, right? Now five is a multiply here. So I do the opposite action, which is a divide. Right, so I just divide both the sides with a five, right? So I divide them by five. Now, when I divide this five by five, it cancels, okay? And what that means is that if I cancel divide this, it becomes a nine, right? And of course, there will be one, but nine over one is nine. So z equals nine.